welcome to i love pharmacology today in this session i'll be telling about why ac inhibitors causes dry cough as a adverse effect so dry cough which is associated with ac inhibitors or relativity common adverse effect why it causes uh, cough and to know that reason you should know the renin angiotensin system so you know that angiotensinogen is a precursor for angiotensin 1 so how it is converted from angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1 it is with the help of the renin so from angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 is converted with the help of the ACE enzyme that is angiotensin converting enzyme so whenever you give a angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors it will block the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 and at the same time they inhibit the conversion of predikine into the inactive metabolite so what happens when you give AC inhibitors to the predikinin concentration in the body so predikinin breakdown will be reduced or inhibited so thereby AC inhibitors will increase the predikinin concentration in the body which is the main culprit for causing the dry cough and also they say that even substance P gets accumulated and it can also cause dry cough so basically when you give AC inhibitors it is associated with a brazy cough which is mainly due to the bradykinin this AC inhibitor prevents the breakdown of the bradykinin thereby bradykinin concentration increases which is responsible for the brazy cough so you can remember AC means why there will be brassicov? Brassicov is related to PP. General brassicov, pretty kind. Thank you. Like and subscribe to I Love Pharmacology. And don't forget to share and press the bell icon.